Welcome to the screencast. It'll cover using Google Docs on the iPad. It is a good idea on your iPad to make sure you have the Google Chrome app and the Google Drive app both installed. I'm going to show instances here where uh, you can make one or the other work for you. So we'll turn on the iPad so we can see what we're doing here. So I'm on my iPad. I've got the Chrome app installed. I'm going to go ahead and launch that. And I've already gone to the Google Drive page to sign in. So this is one way that you can use or get to your Google Documents spreadsheets, presentations that you've created. So I'm going to put my password in. It is a good idea if you are sharing iPads or if maybe you're using a school iPad that is not yours and then going to be passed off to somebody else, make sure you do not check the stay signed in. That'll just make it so your account hopefully won't stay signed in when you're done. So now this is very important. When you access Google Drive on the browser on the iPad, it looks like this. This is considered the mobile version. Uh, the mobile version, you can tell it's the mobile version by seeing this kind of blue area at the top and the bottom. Uh, you'll notice that these buttons, this is all optimized to look at on a mobile device. At the bottom is the footer area where it says your Google Docs or view Google Docs in mobile or desktop. So mobile is highlighted black, meaning that you're currently looking at this in mobile view. You can click or tap on desktop, so I'll go ahead and tap on that. And here is the desktop view, which is what we're very familiar with looking at on the computer. So this is desktop view. Notice your My Drive is over here on the left side. Your files are all listed here, just like you would see. So this is one way that you can kind of access your Google Documents. This is not perfect. There are some glitchy things with this that tend to happen, but this is, this is an option if you're trying to access your documents. What's nice about this is when I'm in desktop view, I can pinch to zoom. So if I needed to make things bigger or smaller on uh, the mobile view, can't do that as easily. If I tap and open a file, that'll open in a new tab. What tends to happen is when you do open something in a new tab, it reverts to the mobile view. Here I am back in the mobile view. I see the blue border at the top. Uh, I can fix this one of two ways. I can click on this little arrow here, and this little arrow gives me the choice for desktop version. So I could tap that, or if I jump to the bottom, the same footer is at the bottom of every Google document or file you open where you can click or tap on the desktop choice. So I'm going to continue to desktop version because I want to be able to access my document and be able to do some editing in here. When you do pull up a document in this desktop version, it, again, it's not perfect. You might encounter some glitchy things where things just don't work right. Uh, you will get this warning that says uh, you're using an unsupported browser. There is a dismiss over here that I can tap to make that go away. So here I am looking at my document. Um, when I do tap within the document, I get a very tiny amount of space where I can really see what I'm typing. One way to kind of give yourself some more space here is up here on the toolbar on the far right is this little arrow that you can tap to kind of take this toolbar and push it up and it gets rid of the title of your document and the share button and you get a little bit more space. So this is one way that you could use Google Documents. Again, you might encounter some glitches, not perfect, but it is an option. I'm going to bounce out of here back to my home screen and show the other option, which is using the Google Drive app. So this is a totally separate app. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. When you use the Google Drive app, again, if you're using a shared computer, make sure you sign out. Oops. Sign out of the app when you're done. And I will show that because it's not uh, not buried, but it's you got to go to a specific place to get there to, to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and put my password in, sign in. So I'm making sure I type my email address correctly. This is what the Google Drive app looks like when you sign into the app. So over here on the left side is what you're used to seeing when you're signed into Google Drive. You've got my drive shared with me, starred. You've got your folders listed first here. And if I scroll down, then I can see my files. And let me go to a specific file here that I marked to show for this. So here's a file I want to open, test document with table. Uh, before I open that document, you'll notice every document does have this little arrow off on the side. So if I tap on that little arrow, this opens up a window where I can access some more information about that particular file. I could, under who has access, hit the little plus sign and add other people or share this file, just like you would do on the computer. I can also tap this share button up here in the top corner 
And if I tap this share button, this gives me the choice to share the document, rename the document, move this document to a specific folder. So if I had to put this in a folder, I could do that there or completely remove the file and, and send it to my trash. So that's just a little bit with how the structure is set up here. If I needed to create a new file from scratch, that's what the plus sign is for. Currently, you can only make documents and spreadsheets or edit documents and spreadsheets here in the Google Drive app. You can't do presentations, drawings, or forms. If I needed to search my documents, that's what the search is for right here, a little magnifying glass. Uh, let's open a document here. I'm going to open this document with the table. When you open a document, you're in view mode where you're just looking at the document. I'm not, I can't do any editing yet. There is the green edit button up here that I would tap to go into edit mode. So let's see what that looks like here. So I go into edit mode. Notice when I'm in edit mode, I purposely use this document with a table in it. For some reason, tables are not supported yet. If I tap on table here, um, it says that it, it won't work. So if you have a document that has a table, unfortunately, you can't do that in the Google Drive app. Best to go do that over in the Chrome app. Uh, when working here in Google Drive, I get some of my toolbar choices up here, but not all of them. Um, it, it, this works if you're just typing a document, typing a paper, you can, you can do this here. When you're done working, you do have to click done in order to save the file. So I could hit done. If there were other people that I had a document shared with and they were all in at the same time, I would see what they were writing in here live as well. This little button up here shows if there were other people in this document, who else was working in it at the same time. So let's hit done here and go back to, and I'm going to close that file, go back to Google Drive here. To get out and fully sign out of this app, you have to do so down here in the bottom area. You click on the little gear. This shows who is currently signed in, and you would hit sign out. Yes, sign out, and that fully signs out you so that the next person can use the Google Drive app. So that's the difference between the Google Drive app and the Chrome app, how you can get to your Google Drive files. It's not perfect, but it is a workable solution. Uh, hopefully you learned something from this, and thanks for watching.